Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toy Escapades channel. Today we're checking out one of the holy grails from the 80s Silverhawks toy line, the evil robotic space squid, Skyrunner. Skyrunner was of course the main mode of transport for series villain, Monstar. And despite being prominently featured in virtually every episode of the cartoon series, its toy vehicle is one of the rarest and hardest to obtain among die-hard Silverhawks collectors. So maybe there's a whole bunch of you out there who might appreciate this unboxing video. But before we begin, let's take a moment to check out the gorgeous box art. It's definitely 1987 all over again. This description of the Skyrunner's toy function has always caught my attention. Grasping tentacles. I'm pretty sure there's never been another toy to use the words grasping and tentacles in the same descriptive sentence. Now, just in case you were wondering, the Skyrunner set does not come with a monster action figure as its driver. Yes, he may be featured all over the box art, but you definitely have to buy him separately. Okay, so the back of the box is where it gets really interesting because we see photos of the actual toy itself. And there's also a picture of a kid looking very pleased at being able to own the Skyrunner. We know exactly how that feels, bro. I think it's great as well that classic toy packaging always used images of the actual toys in describing their functions so that consumers could see exactly what they were buying. Okay, so this thing's out of the box and we are going to be checking out the insights shortly. Now the instructions manual is eye-catching because it has black and white hand-drawn images that show you just how this thing works. In those pre-internet days when images were scarce, it was always great to see renderings of your favorite characters in any form. Now, despite Skyrunner capturing Silverhawk leader Quicksilver on the box art, the manual has an image of the guitarist Silverhawk Bluegrass instead. Okay, so we scored this thing secondhand from a seller online. But despite the weathered box, the cardboard inserts are in such good shape that they look as though they just rolled off the factory in the 1980s. Okay, so wow guys, just wow. Looking at this thing out of the box gives us the same feeling it would have if we had had the chance to do it when we were growing up as kids. The Skyrunner is huge! Since this thing is used, we're just thankful that the stickers are all present and applied correctly. There's nothing we hate more than a used vintage toy with incorrectly applied stickers. That just pisses us off. Leave a comment if you know how that feels. Since this thing is so big, the tentacle attachments are packaged separately along with the blue missile accessory. So what do you say we get this thing assembled already?
So guys, what do you think? I'm just blown away. I've never had a squid toy before in my life. And this one is also a robot vehicle hybrid. Now the details on this thing are just fantastic. As you can see, the driver's cockpit comes with a plastic seat belt to hold the figure in in flight mode. And there's a lever at the bottom that can be extended out to act as a grip for you to hold Skyrunner in a flying motion. Now let's check out the grasping tentacles in action. Pulling and releasing on a yellow knob in the back allows the tentacles to retract and close. Pretty cool, huh? AT's toys also had the best springs for toy missiles. Now the Skyrunner just wouldn't be complete without its driver. So let's get Monstar in there. It's a shame that the actual Skyrunner never came packaged with a Monstar action figure as the inclusion of the figure and his Sky Shadow bird companion truly enhances the overall appearance of the Skyrunner toy. They could have done a battle scarred version, but that's just wishful thinking. Okay, so for a bit of fun, let's also bring out the ultrasonic Quicksilver figure and see if we can reenact the image on the box art. Of course, Quicksilver has a rather neutral expression on his figure, instead of a screaming face as we see on the box, but we'll do the best we can. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, drop me a thumbs up if you liked it and do let me know if you'd like to see more coverage of the Silverhawks on this channel. Thanks for dropping by and I'll catch you guys again soon.